Welcome back to Boss Cow's Reviews. In this review, look out, we have the Salamanders. This is the Jewel Toy Warhammer 40K Salamanders Intercessor Sergeant Test Scan. Let's just go with that. These are 118 CLS figures, and these are adult collectibles and available for only ages 15 and older. And these are officially licensed. This looks fantastic. I cannot wait to see the actual shaded green they use for these guys. That's going to be incredible. That's what I'm looking forward to. I took off the plastic because it glares with the light. But having opened the box, we're about to do that here in just a minute. So for all you package collectors, here's what the box looks like. Top of the box. Bottom of the box, mine has battle damage. But that's okay because I'm going to open it up anyway. Side of the box. Other side of the box. And in the back of the box, looking great product images front to back a close-up there on the side and then the very large one with the figure and all that wonderful accessories we get i see some new parts can't wait to check them out join me in this review it's going to be awesome here is inside the clamshell oh look at that green boys and there's new parts let's get into it all right there he is and i might say i'm loving that green that looks sick the yellow the black and that green Really, really pops. Wow, let's check him out. Here at the helmet, we do have this bad flame on his head. Yellow eyes, looks like they're glowing. We have a tubage going on around the front and side of his helmet there. The silver there, black tubage. Tubage. Then we have the black for the Look at the nose section, the respirator type, the green inner front to break it up, which is great. Same for the back. For the articulation while we're here, back and forth, side to side. 360 all the way around on a ball joint. Very nice. And the head kind of fills up the whole, this whole crater section. There's not a lot of uh, extra gappies there. So good job, Joy Toy, on that part. Um, we do have the gold skull and wings there on the chest, looking beautiful as always. Let's get into these pauldrons. We have the green trim, the flame on the side. That's a very, very cool insignia that is painted on. There's no scomping there, so be careful unless if that does get scratched or with a heavy play. Who knows? We may not. Let's check out pauldron on this side, and this is sculpted. This white sal sal salamander symbol here is a sculpted piece, 3D piece, done in white. It looks sick. Then we have this chain that grounds, goes around the bottom, a couple of charms on them. We have a hammer, gold head, silver shaft, good little baby skull there in the middle. That's awesome. Then we got these little pieces here. Not sure what those are. But the chain is not actually affixed to the pauldron, just on the back pieces here. You can move that chain up and down if you like. That's pretty awesome. A little bit of silver here on the back. This is the holes for the power pack. He does some of his accessories on the figure. For the arms, not much there. Just the green power armor. Besides, um... So down here, it looks like we have a new piece. We have a Space Marine pair of Death Plowers. I'm not sure what they're called, but this is pretty sweet. They are just, they don't open, unfortunately, but they look good. Nice metalish, gunmetalish color. With this iron skull there in gold. Some trim here on the sides. Looking great. Oh, uh, we did see these pouches before. This is the canister and pouch done in a beautiful black, flat, matte black. Loving it. Look at the black against that green. We have the silver buckle uh, buttons. So we have the, these are removable, just so you know. Um, canister, large pouch, small pouch. And then we have the empty pistol case here on this side. Looking good. Other than that, boys, I think that's it for the overall um, pieces that are not this green plastic which that sounds bad but a little bit silver here but this is a beautiful figure 
Um, I cannot wait. There are seven of these guys uh, released at the same time, each sold separately. I grabbed this guy first because I thought he would be the one everybody would want. I didn't want to miss out on him because he had the flame effect, and I was wrong. And then the one that sold out was the one of the um, Eradicators, believe it or not. And believe it or not, these are actually good price, around 30 35 bucks from China. Um, get your, check your favorite retailers if you want this. So here he is. Let's take a nice look at him. Some of the features up close, like we do here only on Blast Guys reviews. Pouches looking good. This is Death Plowers. It's a case looking good. I love these charms. That's incredible. The sculpting, you don't realize how small that is to have it in your hand. Very cool. Okay, so let's get into the articulation. I showed you the head. These look like these out of YouTube bodies. Um, they are improving. Whatever they're doing, they're obviously, they're, uh, their tolerance is in, in dis, um, distance. So you're getting more of a movement on the pauldrons with the strap still, but it's still, um, friction is going to wear that strap out and breaking. We do have the bicep swivel here, double joint elbows, up, down, back and forth. Very nice for the arms, and they do rotate 360. Mine's kind of, I don't like doing that because there's straps, but they do. It will go that way if you want that for your playability. Just known that that's a potential breaking point over time due to the stress and the friction on the uh, straps. Um, the chest goes down and up, very way back. Very cool. Get the side to side motion. The waist, we can do 360 without any problems. The hands, except do we do the hands? Up and down, in and out, 360 or around, and all in between. Um, he's going to... So we're going to move out a little bit. Yeah, it's not too much of a good split that way, but this way he can do pretty good. Very cool, but I don't, I don't think your Space Marines will be doing it anyway. Thigh cut there, very nice. Double jointed knees. For the ankles and feet, you pivot down, a little bit up, side to side, to articulation up. Joints feel good, except for those strap pieces that are causing the friction issues. Um, I wish they'd get away from that and go back to the V1 bodies. Um, so, there's definitely room for improvement for what's holding these pauldrons on. So, joints way, let's get on it, let's get it perfect. These figures are not cheap. And uh, if you're going to keep pumping them out like this, we want uh, perfect figures. But there you go. So let's get into some of the accessories. Now first off, we have his chainsaw sword, power sword, black, and the kind of metal business in. The motor, and the guard here to studs. This is like a maroon, and we have the iron skull done in gold. We've seen these before, nothing special about them because we've seen them a thousand times over again. Let's check the tolerance on the hands, and they've definitely improved on that. These are not as stiff as previous ones, so they've been missing to hopefully our videos, right? This one's a trigger finger hand with other hands, but this is the server purposes, so you can see the range of motion that you can get with the teamwork of the wrist and elbows looking pretty sick there mr salamander all right guys so you see that he has the empty pistol case there um gives you illusion for this gun black the blue and the gun metal we've seen these before nothing special about them because we've seen them a thousand times over again these figures um here is the case with the pistol allegedly in but you can see they really screwed two things up that's not going to sell the idea of that being cased because it's too small and then obviously on this one we don't have the purity seal and it's not the same size but you know what do i know it's not a deal breaker for me because I really don't care too much about that. But if you are, that could be an issue for you. All right, here we have his heavy bolt rifle, gun metal, black, side wing and skull here. 
you see the rounds in a heavy very large magazine drill through the side drill through the front raw system on top we have the revolver piece here that probably cranks out those shells very flexible strap looks cool very very nice this side does not show off the uh, iron skull with the wing so it is different seen these before so let's see what we can do with uh getting this and this into his hand let's test this new uh toe. oh my goodness that is just wonderful look at that boys finger right where it belongs this is the attention i've seen in their new corvus billy figures check out my reviews for those if you want some very cool figures other than warhammer check them out there you go look at that you can get a two-handed wheel just a little bit if i uh not going to worry about it too much you can refine it when you get yours he looks fantastic i do love this figure and the shaded green gives me a military feel now what i like about this figure um most of the time you get your power pack they are the same color as the power armor this time around we got a black one this is going to look fantastic and really give it some color because we have the black, which is beautiful, and the gunmetal vents throughout. These are articulated, they're 360, but I'm not going to force them. We have the silver studs throughout, vents, very, very cool. Even on this side, they painted some tubage here on the uh, back, a couple of little dots there. Looks very, very cool. Let's check out the tolerances for the mounting of the holes. Hopefully, they got these on point. Uh, the stiff, I would recommend in my case, a little bit of heating would be appropriate. So, look at that. Look at the black against that green. That's sick. That looks amazing. I, look how the detail is. Like the silver and the black against that green it really makes that figure look like there's a lot going on. But there's really not. This is a couple, a little bit of uh, gunmetal color here. And then against two-tone colors. It looks fantastic. Now, let's take a look at another new accessory. It has now come with the Salamander figure. He's the only one that has, as a vet, you can get this. We have the torch he's the torch carrier we have this silver torch you can see it kind of has like a flat angle piece here on the bottom it's keyed so you can put it one way um this is hard plastic very very hard not flexible at all one big solid piece flame looks pretty good could they have done better yes but that looks pretty good um, they did went all out on that. That would have been killer. Um, so you need to put, I think, yeah. So the flat piece goes towards the back. And it just pushes on there like that. I know you can't see it, but I want to show you. There it is. That looks incredible. Very, very cool. That's definitely going to leave a nice presence on your shelf as you put him in front of the other six salamanders. He could be your, he's the sergeant, obviously, but uh, he could be your leader until they get the real leader in the future, I'm assuming. All right, so last but at least, a couple alternate hands. We have the fist hand. Looks pretty cool. Another fist hand. So you get right in the left, so if you want to go one-on-one, -on -one, with whoever you want you can here's more another trigger finger hand for the other side we have another gripping hand here probably might be good for the sword and then for, this is my favorite hand uh, the extra hand is the open hand so you can smack the teeth out of whoever you want hand grab give commands very nice versatile hand very very cool now if you guys watch this video to the end, I'm going to show you a really cool comparison. So if you ever wonder who can take on these big bad space marine salamanders, well, maybe the new Corvus Billy Marauders can give them run for their money. And there's a comparison. 
worth that. Oh, those are heavy weapons, guys. He might be able to go one on one. I'm not say he can win, but I bet he put it put up a pretty good fight. But it's a stock, basically a size comparison from your um, modern 118 scale. You have your he's about 4.1 inches. The uh, Corvus Billy figure versus the Warhammer figure. You can see he's just a lot taller because he is Space Marine and they are uh, bigger superhumans. So there he is. Hope you like him. He looks fantastic. Cannot wait to see some of the other six salamanders that they have in the near future. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Check out all my Warhammer videos. Check out all my new four. Corvus Billies, Marauders, Infinity Figures. They are beautiful. Grab them while you can before they're gone. Um, once people learn how cool these are, I think they're going to sell. Especially if you love modern style figures, you love Warhammer, you can always put them together, do some great battles against each other or allies. There's no rules. It's your collection. Have fun. Play hard. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.